Hello everyone, welcome to the SQLT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from Harvard MIT Mass Tournament from 2023. In this problem, we are given P of T as P of 1 times T squared plus P of P of 1 times T plus P of P of P of 1. We know that this is true for all the real values of T and we are going to find the maximum possible value that p of p of p of p of 1 is going to take. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. The first thing that we need to notice that we have this p of 1 here, then p of p of 1 here, and then we can say that this is basically p of p of 1, and then we apply another polynomial on top of it. The second thing that we are going to notice is usually we have this t squared, then t, and then a constant, which basically means that this is a polynomial of degree 2. Let's assume that we have this p of t given as a t squared plus bt plus c. Now everything is nice here, but when you compare this with this, you can see that a is defined here as p of 1, b is defined here as p of p of 1, and then c is defined as p of p of p of 1. Now the tricky part here that I'm going to use is instead of using this b equals to p of p of 1, I'm going to say that p of 1 is basically a, and then b is basically p of a. And similarly, c is p of b now if you agree with me then what i have here is very valuable i have a equals to p of 1 let me write p of 1 it's going to be a equals to a plus b plus c and what you see here is basically b is negative c now the second thing that you can do is you can say b is p of a so i'm going to say b is a times a squared plus b times a plus c now we know that b and c are inverse of each other so let's skip that and then go to the second part and then come back here we know that c is p of b so c is going to be a b squared plus b times b plus c now we have this a b squared plus b squared plus c and if you remove c you can say that basically a is negative one now we have a is negative one and we can say that basically the other possible value that we can have is b basically is going to be zero so either b is zero or a is negative one now you have these two cases let's focus on them and then see how we can proceed from here remember we didn't use the second equation so i'm going to use the second equation in a bit so for the second equation let me rewrite what I have here for a moment and then we are going to continue with that. We had this a equals to a plus b plus c. We had this b equals to a squared. We had this b equals to a to the power of 3 plus a b plus c. And finally we had this c is equal to a b squared plus b squared plus c from here we say that b is negative c and from here we say that a is negative one or b is zero so now from these we can say that the possibilities that we have is basically negative one and then b and then negative b or a and then 0 and then 0 so basically for this case we are going to find b and for this case we are going to find a 
Now let's focus on the first part. If we focus on the first part and then try to find what we have in the second equation, we know that basically B is here, then negative one, then negative B, and then negative B. Basically it means that B is going to be negative over one over three, and so based on these we can say that one possible answer is negative one negative one over three one over three the other case was this a is unknown and then we have zero for b and c if again we use this in the second equation we have zero we have a to the power of three we have zero, we have zero. And then A is going to be zero. So the other possibility that we have is basically zero, zero, zero. Now the question asks for the maximum value of P of P of P of P of one. We know that based on what we wrote, P of x is defined as a x to the power of 2 plus b x plus c and remember c was p of p of p of 1 now we need to find p of c to find the maximum value that we can have for what the problem is asking so let's see how we are going to find p of c here p of c can be defined as a c to the power of 2 plus b times c plus c now we want to find the maximum value that p of c can get if we use 0 0 0 for a b and c p of c is going to be 0 Let's focus on the second case, which is going to be a is negative one and c is one over three. So we are going to have one over three to the power of two times negative one plus b is going to be negative one over three times one over three plus c, which is going to be one over c. Now we have this minus 1 over 9 minus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 3 which is going to be 1 over 9 and this is the maximum value that P of C can get and this is our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities and problems from different maths competitions and Olympiad, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.